Hi, my name is Abdullah Pakawa. Um, I'm going to be opening up Gordon Ramsay's first bar, Union Street Cafe. Uh, today I'm going to make um, a dry a dry martini. I'm going to do five mils of dry vermouth. I'm going to discard it because I don't want it to be too heavy. I want to accentuate the full flavours of Lantern's Gin. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to get like five mils of dry vermouth and just coat the ice. Give it a little stir, make it go down to the bottom. Then I'm going to discard the vermouth. Yeah, I, really, I, want it, I want it dry. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to add 50 ml of Lansing's gin. The good thing about a dry martini is it's so easy and so um, uh, so easy and uh, so easy and a good drink to have when you just finish work. What I've done. As you can see, I've added 50 mils. I'm going to give it a little stir. stir. It's all about dilution. Give it a little bit of dilution. I don't want to dilute it that much because I want to accentuate the flavours of the Manson's Gin. Chilled glass, of course. And this is my preference. Obviously, you can do a gin martini to your own preference. You can either make it wet, you can either have it at medium, or you can garnish it with either lime, orange, onions, or even grapefruit. But I'm just going to go for uh, a lemon zest. So it is, after a little bit of dilution, quick pull. Look at it. Nice bit of lemon zest. Remember, I personally like to make it nice and neat because it is going to be a garnish and it's going to go in a drink. You want to get the oils from the skin. You can either put it inside, I like it inside. Some people discard it, but it's all, it's all down to personal preference. Dry gin martini. Delightful. Dry gin martini.